Hello. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. I'm Tyler Mount and you're tuned in to the Tyler Mount Blog. I had an amazing week, I hope you all did too. I'm really excited about this new vlog process, mostly because I have to make my bed once a week, which is a-okay with me. My parents are really happy about that, probably. I had the idea for today's vlog last night when my friend Matt was over and we were going through my old iTunes library that I hadn't been through, I'm not kidding, in like, 10 years. One of my all-time favorite childhood songs came on and I lost my mind. It was Lord of the Dance, like Michael Flatley tap dancing. I would be alone in my room, tap dancing alone, and well, not tap dancing, let's be very clear, acting like I was tap dancing, on repeat over and over and over and over in my room, which is like the most embarrassing thing in the world. So I decided to count down the top eight most embarrassing things I did as a child in hopes that someone, just someone, has done something more embarrassing than I. Number one. I've already said it, but I loved Michael Flatley's Lord of the Dance and I acted like I tap danced all the time. <laughs> My God, I was a loser, but look where I am now. I'm still a loser. If my never ending tap recital wasn't enough, they had to listen to number two. Me singing and reenacting Defying Gravity on repeat for hours at a time. It got to the point where my dad literally would bang on the door and be like, shut up. But I was like, no one's gonna bring me down. Number three. So right when I hit puberty, me and the rest of the world was obsessed with sex. And the closest thing I could get to watching sex, because God knows I wasn't having sex, was to watch a sex scene in a movie. Y'all, I didn't have any movies. So I'm not kidding when I say I watched the sex scene of Shallow Hal on repeat. Y'all, Shallow Hal. Like Jack Black, Gwyneth Paltrow, Shallow Hal. I was desperate and beggars can't be choosers. Moving on. Number four. Right when I was born, I peed on my face, y'all. When I was delivered, I guess I had to pee from the long journey, so I did so directly on my face. My parents still laugh about it today. Number five. The juiciest detail of any child story is their first kiss. I was dared in kindergarten to unknowingly go up to my gym teacher and kiss her on the lips. I did. I don't regret it, but it's kind of creepy that my first kiss was my kindergarten gym teacher. Number six. My aspiration growing up was not to be a lawyer, was not to be a doctor, it was to be a McDonald's worker. I'm not kidding, I wanted to work at a drive-thru. Number seven. From the youngest age, I've always been a hypochondriac. If there's a disease, I have legitimately thought I've had it. I was so scared of germs on the toilet seat that I wouldn't go number two for literally two weeks. You do the math. That's not fun. And speaking of poop, it leads me to number eight. The most embarrassing moment of my entire life was when I gave my first television interview in kindergarten. We were on a field trip to the rodeo and the national news reporter walked up to me and said, what did you like about the horses? This was my response. What'd you like about they pooped all over the place. Yes, they did. Well, the good news is it's only uphill from there. I feel like we've all had embarrassing moments at one point in our lives, and we can just be united in the fact that we're all losers together. As always, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. You can follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter at Tyler G. Mount. Until next time, I'm Tyler reminding you to give love. Wow! <laughs>